featuring North America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. It was a guys only week. It is so cool okay. to have like you, a guy. You know what? If it's a guys only week and it's a guys only show, I could just leave now. You could do the whole show by yourself. It might go easier. Okay. It worked. This is so cool. Hey, Gary Cornum and I went headed up to Northern Boreal Trophy Hunts. It's in northern Saskatchewan. It was our first time there with Marlon Taze, and we had an incredible hunt. An incredible hunt. And I mean, you, let's, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get into Gary's first night. And remember, we screwed up because Sundays you can't hunt in Saskatchewan. Remember that when you're planning your trip. Use it for travel days, because we didn't. Hey Gary, judging by your better half at home, I know that you're kind of partial to those blondes. To the archer's choice i'm looking for vic she's gonna throw something or do something at me hey let's get with gary on his first night up in northern boreal trophy hunt trophy hunts and like we said gary is a producer of easton's reality bow hunting show with our good friend fred eichler so gary's not used to being in front of the cameras much so this is a great time and great fun to experience with gary check it out Just had another bear come in. 
Gary, that was incredible performance. You're shooting a Beeman Black Max, you're shooting an, an NAP Nitron at what, 62, 63 pounds, and it blew right through that bear like nothing stuck in the ground? Oh man, look at this. Look at that. That thing, that bear was standing about four feet over there. Wow, what an awesome first day. We, uh, we got in the stand last night. We saw that incredible blonde bear. Uh, I really wanted to take that bear, but it just never gave me the shot. And uh, not too long later, um, this bear came in and uh, it was a good bear. Gave us, uh, waited a little while, gave us a great shot. And uh, we, we tracked it right away, but uh, decided, to, decided to back off. We weren't, uh, we weren't finding a good trail. It was getting dark, so we decided to back off, come back this morning. We did, the bear only went about 100 yards, and we came up on it, and uh, it was a great hit, didn't go far, and uh, I, I'm just thrilled as I can be. To be. This is the last night of very short, very short on here with uh, Marlon Taves of Northern Boreal Trophy on here in Saskatchewan. Gary and I, and really it's more my fault than Gary's, we figured we had that fourth, that other day, in, but we forgot that in Saskatchewan you can on Sundays. So much for being professional, and uh, we screwed up bad. But uh, the first night, Gary shot a nice black bear, saw a blonde, but we think this blonde is a sow. And every other year, uh, Marlon's been seeing this sow with blonde cubs. Now, according to Freddy's statistics, three years, three blonde bears, Ralph, zero shots. What's going on? Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. 
Well, now it's my turn. Congratulations, Gary. Man, that nitron went right through that bear like I've never seen anything like it. It's my turn now, and Gary gets behind the camera, and I'm in front, and it's... I just want to help you talk about your hunt. Gary's filming you. He does a great job. Check out the camera work. Wink, wink. And it's time for Ralph's hunt, and I think you guys will really, really, really appreciate this footage. He takes a... Well, I don't want to ruin it, but check out the color phase that he doesn't take. Gary, when we said get close on the bear, when I'm gonna shoot, I didn't mean this close. Here, here, here. Nice bear. Well, I've told you before, and we will tell it to you again. <laughs> Marlon Taze, Northern Boreal trophy hunts here in Saskatchewan. We screwed up, Gary and I ended up only having three days, and in three days we shot two great bears. We saw more blondes than I have seen anywhere at any time and I've been hunting bears since I've been 18 years old. I won't tell you how old I am, but I am old. It's, it's been incredible. I cannot wait to get Vicky up here because she will shoot like the big blonde and I'll have to live with that, but that's all right. I, we can't tell you enough. I mean, this has been, what a great experience. You meet good people. You share it with good friends, Gary. And I mean, this is what it's all about. Welcome back to The Archer's Choice. This next hunt's kind of unique. It's Jared Wells and he's a longbow hunter. I know you don't usually see that off too often around here, but he's up at East Trout Lake Bear Camps. And let me tell you something, check out the way this bear is walking and tell me, how many paws does he have?
Okay, all you traditionalists, hit record because here comes a true traditional hunt. We've made a good hit on this bear. Um, we know he didn't go far, so let's go find him. Yeah, this is our second day in the stand here at East Trout Lake Bear Outfitters. First night we had a nice, nice chocolate brown bear come in, but he wouldn't give us a shot, and we stayed there till eight o'clock. Um, that's when that bear came in. Tonight we got in the stand about 4:30. And uh, this guy came in, gave us a good shot. Uh, very nice bear, hides in good shape. Um, made a good shot on him. He only went 30, 35 yards. And uh, it's pretty neat. He's missing his front paw. I'm sure you've seen him hobbling around on the video there. But uh, nice bear. That was such a unique hunt. Oh, huh? a I mean, bear with a long bow. I mean, a bow, a bear with anything. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. Any animal. And that's, you know, our message has never changed, Vicky. And that is, we don't care with what you hunt. Just get out and hunt. That's and right. And there it is. We're sharing it with everybody. You know, it just that's what it's. I wish I could shoot a long bow that good. You're too short to shoot a long bow. I have a question for you though. I mean, you went in a pretty deep subject there. What happened with <sighs> that blonde bear? Aren't you not supposed to be on this show? You're right, I'm not supposed to be on this show. I, can't, I just can't win when it comes to a blonde bear. It, blondes are just, they make me just, I don't know. It's a good thing I don't have blonde hair. I'm not going there because that's a catch-22. Oh. When your wife asks you something about hair or size or anything, you just <laughs> shut up. And guys, you feel my pain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I've opened my mouth too many times to say, mm-mm, hmm? I've trained him well. Tune in next week, same time. Same station. Right here on the, on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. What do you mean you trained him? <laughs>